Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of fractions, specifically how we can add and subtract fractions, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So when we are looking at this problem here, it immediately looks like a pictograph, which is actually what it is. But we can actually turn this into a fraction problem. So we have the number of red boxes sold, and there's no key that says that each of these red boxes represents two or four, so we're just going to assume that each of these red boxes equals one. So the question asks, what expression could be used to find the fraction of the red boxes sold on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday? So we've got three days that we need to find. So Tuesday, well, that's got two. And Thursday, that's got five. And then Saturday's got one. Well, I could add 2 plus 5 plus 1. Problem is, is those aren't fractions. How can we turn a pictograph into fractions? We have the numerators. What we are missing are the denominators. And the denominator is always going to be the total. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how many total red boxes were sold in the entire uh, six-day span here. So let's figure out, we've got four, we've got three. Uh, Friday's got quite a bit, that's eight over here, and then we know that Saturday's one. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add those up, because that's gonna be our denominator. So I'm looking for groups of 10, so that's gonna be 10, eight and two is 10, five, four, and one is another 10, so plus that three is gonna be 23. So my fractions are gonna be two 23rds, plus 5 23rds, plus 1 23rd. When you add fractions, the denominator has to be the same for you to do it. In this case, we're just looking at the total number of red boxes. So it's 23rds plus 23rds plus 23rds. This is an expression because it doesn't have an equal sign. If we wanted to add them up, we could get 8 23rds, um, but that's not going to help us. We're not going to reduce that or simplify that. Really what we're looking for is this. So if you are asked to find a, a fraction expression you used to add something up and you don't see a fraction, add everything up all together and that's going to be your denominator. And then your numerators are going to be the individual components, the Tuesday, the Thursday, and the Saturday. Let's look at a different example. So we have a new problem and Enrique is doing some baking and he is putting together four-fifths of yellow. So I'm just going to draw a picture of my four-fifths and I'm going to put that right here. And I'm going to put my four-fifths of yellow, put a Y there. He has two-fifths of red, so let me just draw in two-fifths right here. Label that as two-fifths and red. And he's got two, so two holes plus two-fifths. So I'm going to put my two holes right here. And I'm just going to shade them all the way in. Two and then two-fifths of green. So now I can put my two fifths, and I'm just going to put big two and two fifths over here. That's this whole row right there. Now, what is the difference? So that means we need to subtract this green, two and two fifths, minus the combined amount of yellow and red. Well, yellow and red is going to be four fifths plus two fifths. Well, I could do the four fifths plus two fifths. If I take my four right here and add two more, that's going to give me six fifths. So I'm going to rewrite it like this. And it's going to be improper and that's going to be fine. Six fifths. So you can add and subtract fractions if the denominator is the same. Both of these have a denominator of five, but it doesn't help that this first one is a mixed number. So what if I change that into an improper fraction? What if I just said, well, this is five fifths, five fifths, and two fifths, so that's five, 10, 12 fifths. So two and two fifths is the same as 12 fifths. So now let me say 12 fifths minus six fifths. Ah, I can do that. Now when we're doing that, our denominator stays five. 12 minus six is going to be six. So our answer initially looks like six fifths, but since the problem began with a mixed number, we need to end with a mixed number. So I'm going to plot my six-fifths up here. That's five-fifths. There's six-fifths, so it's really the same as one and one-fifth. 